Every minimalist knows the kitchen is the worst spot in the entire house or apartment. You have dozens, if not hundreds of mismatched items, different sizes, shapes, colors. They don't really go together. There's no like synchronization. So here's what I've found as a kind of single guy living by myself as the easiest, most minimalistic kitchen setup. We have just what you need and nothing else. So starting off with what you can actually see in the kitchen. First thing you need is a knife set. There's no need to have those big 16 sets of knives. They look really nice, but you're probably gonna use one maybe two max at one time so keep it simple this set i have has three knives the chefs the bread and the small one and a pair of scissors which is just about everything i need the next to that i keep a fruit bowl with my bananas you guys know i eat oatmeal every single morning so just having that quickly readily available to me is just worth it versus having them in the pantry or in one of the cupboards and then we got salt pepper and oil. Usually I'm cooking up some sort of rotisserie chicken, tacos or eggs. So salt and pepper and the oil comes in handy most of the time unless I'm throwing some butter on there. And then I also use this because my cat likes eating a little bit when I'm, they don't want her in the kitchen. So that keeps her away. And then over here on this side, we have my Nutribullet. I make a blended shake almost every single day. So I can just throw my veggies in here, start it, and then go back to like my meeting or whatever I'm doing at work and just drink that without having to like, you know, bring the blender out from the cupboard and then put it back in. So just, I keep this out. And then obviously paper towels. I use these all the time because I make a big mess and they come, besides that, just like for cleaning in general, they're very handy to use. And then lastly, over here, we have my plant. She was doing better a few weeks ago. This is a bit of a rough week for her. I think I'm either overwatering her or underwatering her. So I'll figure that out. And then we have just one large pad over here just for tossing with a nice clean side of it on. Whatever stuff needs to dry. I will tell you guys though, I'll cover this in a little bit, but I do use plastic plates mostly and I'll tell you why, but when I'm cooking and I, the pans I throw in there and some other stuff, just throw it on a big drying mat so not everything's on top of each other. Now if we start off with the pantry, since I have a very simple diet and I like being a little pretty, I have the clear kind of housing units for everything I use. Every morning having protein bars, taco, tortillas, oatmeal, bread, and then my supplements. This is creatine and vitamin ADK, and then some nuts and prunes. And usually right here at the bottom, kind of like a, not a catch-all, but if I have like a new loaf of bread coming in and the old one's not done yet, I don't like mix them up in case they get moldy. So I'll just leave that down there till I can swap it in the clear containers. And it looks like nice and you know, it has the minimalistic look to it. So I kept it in. But now if we start over here, every kitchen needs its staple pans. So when you normally look at pan set online, they usually come in sets of I think eight or 10 and there's just no need to have that many. So I got this simple three set, the small one I use just about every single day for eggs, oatmeal, tacos, and actually just about everything, salmon too. So I use mostly use this one, but if I have some guests coming over and I wanna cook something up for them or they actually wanna cook for me because I can't cook that well myself, they'll use this bigger one. And then we also have this one, which I've used maybe one time for something. It's like a soup bowl or something. And then one other thing is to make cleaning a lot easier and to kind of have this cool like modern look to it. These clips are what you attach to the pans to get them to hold. So I thought that was pretty neat. And also of course, when you're cleaning, it's a bit easier to just get around the bowl. So stuff doesn't hide between like the clip and the, it just makes life a bit easier. Then on this side right here, I have what I normally grab every day, which is just paper plates and then plastic spoons, forks, cups I don't use, but always I use paper plates. It's just such a big convenience because I eat like five meals a day. So having to clean every single plate at night would just be a bit of a hassle for me. So I use the paper ones and then obviously plastic forks and spoons. I know some people might get mad that I say that because it's like killing the environment. But if it does make you feel better, I did email the city of Fort Worth permission to plant three trees in the park next to my apartment, kind of offset my you know carbon emissions and all that stuff. So don't cancel me for that. And then up top over here, we have some like tin foil. I used to get some work on the library for like business and work and everything. So I usually just wrap up my tacos in some tin foil and throw them in a lunch bag and take them to go over there. And then on this side, when I have guests over, want to impress them, we actually have the nice plates and uh, the nice bowls. I wanted something that was like a bit like, this sounds super dumb, but I wanted something that was like a bit like masculine. And I really liked how these plates were square instead of round. It's a bit unique and it kind of gives that more like kind of rugged look to it, which I really like. So so square plates, square bowls, and then we also got glasses and then some tubbardry, like a glass containers. The plates, thankfully, this was a small enough set of six and the same thing with the bowls. 
Most sets I saw were like 12 because they obviously make them for families. So I'm glad there weren't too many of those. And then these, I do opt for like, although I do use like plastic forks and spoons. When you have hot food, it's not good to like put it in a plastic container just because it can like get some harmful chemicals in there. So I like to stick with glass. These glasses I've literally never used because I always have my like giant water bottle on me and I don't drink any juices or anything. But if I don't know, like guests ever, if my mom comes over, I'll bring those out for her. Uh, so we covered that, covered that. And then in here, I have the lids for those pans I showed you guys earlier. They just pop on pretty simple. Let's probably clean that. Let me clean this one too. And then here we have glass mixing bowls. Uh, I didn't like the metal ones and that's why I can't throw them in the microwave or whatever. So I got the glass ones. So obviously comes in small, medium, and large. Didn't want the whole like five plastic or five metal uh, like bowl set. So three was good enough for me. And yeah, that's what's on this side. Cover this, there's nothing up in here. And let's get into the drawers. So when I was looking to get like silverware and stuff, they all came in massive packs, but luckily this was the smallest one I could find, which had like four spoons, four forks, four knives, two steak knives, some metal straws, which are actually kind of cool. Like these, I don't know if I like made like some juice or something. It'd just be cool to drink them out of these. So I have those. And then I obviously use these every day. So I have two spatulas, one for eggs, one for oatmeal, and then tongs if I'm like, I think this, yeah, I use these for salmon. And lastly, I just have a knife sharpener, which I've never used because I just don't use my knives enough to need to sharpen them. But one day the day will come. Another thing is you guys know, like same way with the clear plastic things back in the pantry. I like keeping things organized. I wouldn't, I don't wanna just throw these in like, like some plastic plate and throw them in this drawer. So I love just having these organizational units in here. It just makes life a lot easier. And by the way, I'll have everything I talk about or just about linked in the description below. I made a video on my minimalistic apartment tour. So I'll just throw in the whole Excel sheet with everything in my apartment into there. In this drawer, we have cutting boards, just two of them, nice and simple. I pretty much only use them if I'm gonna marinate some salmon or something. I think now I actually just do it in the pan. And then on this side over here, we have an apron. This has literally never been worn. And then lastly over here, we have just the uh, oven mitts. I keep getting the name of things that I'm really like, I don't know that much about cooking, but oven mitts in here and these things have like a hot pan I need to set down somewhere. And that covers the thing, just about everything that I use like on a day-to-day -day basis. Last things I wanna mention is I do have some extra olive oil down here. I don't like using canola because it's supposed to be like bad for you. And I saw it in like a Joe Rogan podcast and all that stuff. I keep that down there. And then I have an air fryer down here. I love chicken wings. Like it's my favorite food in the entire world. So when I used to just grab some, I would just throw them. I used, my mom would tell you guys, I would literally buy 12 to 15 pounds of chicken wings like every two weeks and make, eating them like three or four meals a day because they just taste so good. You toss them in the air fryer, they're done soon. So I still have mine. I love that thing. And then over here on this side, nothing in there. This is my like catch all cabinet. So if I have extras for anything, like an extra apron, cause like you buy them like sets of two on Amazon or some extra, just extra stuff in here. Most of it is kitchen related. We see I have some chan masala down there, some tiny plates, a few other things. So, cause I don't know what to do with that, I just throw it in here. And then if my plates break or I need a replacement, usually I can get something in here before I have to hop onto the store. I don't wanna just throw like the extra stuff away cause it might come in handy. So I do key out that catch all drawer. Besides that, what else is over here? In the island, this is my tape drawer. I think tape is an incredibly versatile tool. We're kind of getting outside the kitchen, but it's in the island and I'd use it a lot. So I have multiple assortments of tape. We have Velcro tape, carpet tape, duct tape, clear tape, blackout tape, and typical scotch tape. So actually a lot of my apartments she is held up by tape, which is not the best thing to say, but it's gotten me having seven months into the year. So can't complain about that. And then this is the medicine cabinet. I have been getting allergies for the first time in my life. So I just like grabbing a Claritin D if I have any sort of ibuprofen or pain or cough drops, like doing all that. Similarly with the rest of my, uh, if you notice with this drawer and the tape drawer, I still have like some sort of shelving unit inside or some drawer unit inside the drawer to make everything a bit more organized. This is a bit messier, but you can still see I used the, the knife and fork and spoon set to throw the medicine in. And then I also just use these little things for keeping cough drops because they look nice, little storage jars. Besides that over here, I wash my hands like every time I come back from the apartment. I think just it's a habit from like San Francisco and living in just like such a grimy place in the tenderloin where I just, I would need a shower whenever I left my apartment. But uh, I do always wash my hands when I come back. So we got this automatic soap dispenser, boom, boom, makes life a million times easier. Pumping soap is uh, for peasants, so. Thought I'd stepped up a notch and has a like minimalist, like modern look to it that I love. And just like, it just, 
It's just so nice just getting the soap just like that. So I have that and then inside the actual sink, we have a little caddy I use, which has dish soap and the sponge. I've never once used this dishwasher. It just doesn't make sense when I'm a single person and I eat like five meals a day. So plus I use plastic plates. There's, there's not enough stuff to throw in the dishwasher to justify using it. And I'm too lazy to buy the dishwasher detergent. So I just always hand wash everything. Right here, we have just my typical cleaning supplies. I have this caddy here I bring out, which has just about everything bleach, typical disinfectants and disinfectant wipes, glass cleaner, and some Febreze. And then down here, I have the typical kind of extra garbage bags, some other sprays and stuff, but that is everything for cleaning pretty much. And then over here, we just have two stools. I was gonna get four stools, that's a normal thing, you know, like you get, just have like four stools on an island this big, but I don't have that many people that are over that often. And I have a couch right over here, so it doesn't make sense to have that extra space in there. So that's that with the island situation. And then the absolute very last thing is the fridge and freezer. So freezer is the easier one. I normally have a bunch of veggie packets in here for make the shakes, but I'm all out right now. I need to like restock on them. So usually right here is just covered in these little like quarter Ziploc bags full of like cucumber, spinach, kale, asparagus, Brussels sprouts, and a few other like veggies that I throw in my shake. And down here, I just keep salmon. I have a lot of packets right now. So I'm going through all those. And then just a little bit of a little bit of green onions. My freezer did stop working, which is why like it got watered down and then it refroze, which is why it was hard to pull this out. I used to throw a lot of green onions in my omelets, but I now switched from omelets to fried eggs to scrambled eggs. I just like sticking with just cheese to throw on there, but that's the freezer. The fridge isn't really stocked that well right now. But what I do like to do, and it's a bit messy as well, is keep all my condiments in the same bottle. So we have the spicy garlic Asian sauce, then we have Frank's Red Hot, we have the Chick-fil-A sauce, we got ketchup, and then we have the Taco Bell hot sauce. So I keep all of these sauces up here. I'm gonna actually add one more because this Target one is growing on me for the tacos. This one might actually get its own little special bottle. And then of course, salsa, sour cream, cheese, typical basic stuff. I throw my yogurt down here. And then all the way at the bottom, I have normally two stacks of water bottles. Whenever like some guy from Amazon comes and drops something off or some guy like does some maintenance in my apartment, I just give him water. It's like, oh, like it's hot out, like take some water. So that's that. And we got some limes there as well. At the very, very bottom of the fridge is where I store like the extra stuff. So we need some extra ketchup, hot sauce and butter. If I'm not running through it right now, but because it's out of sight, I like that. That is the fridge. And I believe I cover just about everything. Most of these like drawers and cabinets you guys see are empty, especially the ones like over there on the kitchen side. And that's pretty much the entire kitchen. All these other cabinets you guys see, this one, this one, that one, this one, that one are empty. It just doesn't really make sense to have stuff you don't need. And I just hate being weighed down by stuff I don't have. You guys ever moved like from apartment to apartment or from dorm to apartment, you realize like how much garbage you have. I have tons of videos on minimalism if you guys wanna check that out. But this is the perfect kitchen where everything works for me. There's not too much of anything, too less of anything. The five meals I eat every single day, they're the exact same. I can make pretty easily. And just knowing that I'm not boggled down with stuff is a great feeling. So if you guys did like my minimalist, kitchen. What am I going to call this? A breakdown, a go over, something like that. Did you guys give you guys some inspiration? Again, everything I'll have linked in an Excel sheet in the description below. So check that if you guys are interested. And that is just about everything. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.